that's why uh whenever that's why whenever I masturbate, I have to have someone else do it. Uh hey guys, welcome to this episode of the official podcast where we've got high energy guest Adam from Your Movie Sucks. I'm Jackson. What's up? We've got Andrew, we've got Charlie, and we've got Kaya. Let's get right into the news. Why the news? Let's get right into the news. Oh my god, Adam, you're my favorite already. Yeah. Already. Uh, so Thank so you. Adam, for our man. uneducated viewers at home, why don't you give a quick rundown of what you do and what your thing is? Um I, I yell at movies on the internet. Um do and, the movies yell uh, back? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's uh, some of them. There was uh, one time when uh, Michael Goy, the director of uh, Megan is Missing, uh, wrote very angry comments in my comments section. And then <laughs> when he when when people realized that uh, or when he realized that nobody was defending him, he promptly pretended not to be him. But you could see the trailer for his film uploaded like three years ago on, <laughs> on his, his channel. channel. <laughs> And his his entire movie is just about the dangers of the internet, and he doesn't understand it. If you want to see that comment, it's in the video description for the Megan is Missing review. So yeah, sometimes That's sometimes beautiful. movies yell back. Um, it sounds like something uh, Uwe Boy would do. Did you ever yeah. get challenged to a boxing match by any of the directors? Uh, no, not yet, not yet. Oh, <laughs> we'll that's see. That's a shame. We'll see. It'll come. But if I if I've learned anything from the Uwe Boll incident, it's to not accept the boxing match. <laughs> Doesn't he fight I mean, dirty or something? Or no, he's um, just he's a no, fat he's, ass butch he's just guy a boxer. Just, like yeah. he challenged oh, shit, somebody yeah. to a boxing match because he's familiar with boxing and can beat people up. <laughs> he's like, just a better boxer <laughs> than he is at anything yeah. about making movies. <laughs> better Andrew. boxer than a better human being. So yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I yell at movies, and uh, it's a uh, somewhat comedic uh, review style along the same vein I think you're as hilarious. a I thought lot of other people. I thought you were self-criticizing your channel like it's somewhat comedic. <laughs> so, well, you know, it's a little, it's, that's subjective, you know. Mm -hmm. he, he's I've cutting always, himself short. He makes me laugh at least once every video. That's a he's fucking yeah, but, crowning achievement. That's yeah, a good Some average. people I make rage and some people I make masturbate. So that's there's a, there's a lot of it. different varieties yeah. of of responses oh, that, that always happens when you criticize shit people like like their favorite movies mm -hmm. oh yeah there's some people that are that are just literally itching for me to sort of validate their opinions in a way like please yeah. i hated this movie and everybody else what loves it please the, say you hated it what was like the worst uh review you've done in terms of like the mo biggest backlash you got like the biggest oh, sacrilege you've okay well if we're like, gonna you talk know about how in the gaming world you're not allowed to criticize zelda if I want to, yeah. uh, I actually want to do a, an appendum on that just to make it important. And it wasn't sure. just from fanboys or fangirls of that series. Oh, well, oh, well, that's, well yeah, I mean, a, that's, a, that's a bigger restriction. I mean, that was, that's what I was I, going if for. If I do get a lot of <laughs> criticism for something, how do you diff how do how do you tell whether or not it's a fanboy? Then yeah, don't disregard it. Yeah. I'm a fucking yeah, idiot. Don't disregard yeah, okay. that stupid stipulation. Yeah, so, <laughs> um, so uh, there's um. A while back, I've been I've had two community guideline strikes from people just mass flagging videos, and that was uh, those were for the uh, second Hunger Games movie, so very <laughs> mature fan base, and uh, the second Hobbit movie. <laughs> Wait, uh, I pissed off, and I I gave the Hobbit movie second the what? second Hobbit movie like a six or a seven. It was a positive review. I just I I had uh, you know the Hobbit. Uh, I, I just I just had a few no. criticisms the to make about Lord it. Lord of the it Rings movies, Kaya. Perfect. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, I know. The I discount the first Lord time. of the Rings yeah. that uh, was really stretched out and could yeah, have been that a they lot made better, three but... parts and it easily could have been a one part movie. Was yeah, it three? I, I, wish. Only two. I wish it was yeah, just no, two parts. Three. Two parts would have been no, it's fine. Three, and if you watch the uh, extended versions, they're each three hours long. Um, yeah. I think longer, right? Uh, I'm, probably. And then I'm not sure. I guess in terms of like dislike, the dislike bar. Um, right when yeah. I uh, released my Amazing Spider-Man 2 review and also right when I released my uh, uh, oh, Suicide oh. Squad oh, review. That, hang on, hang on. H what did you think of the uh, yeah, Amazing Spider-Man 2? We've got some personal investment in this one. That's Go ahead. True. It was hilarious. It was, it, I, I bought it. it on 3D Blu-ray because it's so 
<laughs> unintentionally funny that I, I have an absolute blast. See, what did that's, I tell that's you? That's how I feel what about it. likes that movie. Uh, Charlie that, thinks it's a miracle of modern filmmaking. Do you agree? Yeah. It's one of Charlie's favorite movies. I remember him movies. texting me on Skype, Kaya, if you want to see the face of God, watch The Amazing None Spider-Man 2. That it's, that, that's, totally, that's totally fine. I, uh, there you go. I've always tried my best to uh, put forward in, in the videos that I make that there's nothing wrong with liking something that somebody else doesn't like or disliking something that that uh everybody likes Mm -hmm. um but no that's just wrong no you're wrong i think i think it's (laughs) It's important just to be able to defend yourself in a way that uh it's constructive even if somebody doesn't agree they can at least see where you're coming from yeah. So well, well, Adam. Let's clarify. Are you saying that the Spider Man, Amazing Spider Man Two, was so bad it was a good movie? Uh, I from from like a a scale of measuring, you know, directing, performance, writing, et, et cetera, I would give it like a three out of ten. Mm-hmm. But in terms mm-hmm. of entertainment, I would give it like an eight. Out of 10. I can respect that. What I can I, totally that's respect the exact that. Exact same measurements I gave to Kai. I don't know why he's blowing it out of proportion. That's exactly <laughs> what I said. You said uh, you really liked it. No, now let's touch on a bigger topic. The Hunger Games two. You got backlash for that. Is that because you didn't like it? Uh, I forget what my exact rating for it was, but I don't even. I don't. I don't think I gave it like anything worse than a five or something. It was just <laughs> yeah. But say ooh. the fanboys would the fan girls. I should be saying yeah, is, it's it's like they would be looking for a perfect ten. Uh, the fan people, yeah. Jackson. Okay. All right. The the f- yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, five out of ten is unacceptable. Fans. I'm gonna go flag that yeah, one myself. Some, I don't know. Did you something know I was there. an extra in that movie? Did you know that? Oh, really? Were you actually? Yeah. Didn't you get your part yeah. cut out though? Yeah, my whole part got cut <laughs> out, but I was still in it, so I love it. Okay. <laughs> same thing. Same thing happened to me uh, in the Brad Pitt movie, The Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford. Your part got cut. Oh, of course, you. that classic. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, like something got to buy it's, a shop. Uh, <laughs> it's supposedly really good. I haven't seen it yet, but <laughs> I know my part got cut because my parents watched it and they're like, "Yeah, you weren't in." It. I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> I went, through that, yeah. I went through that same thing like I told all my friends I was like guys I got a part in the Hunger Games let's all go see it yeah and then uh, I went to see you it know with what? a few friends and it wasn't there I've, I have I, I think that a very solid piece of advice and something that I've learned over the years is to not advertise something that's a maybe no matter how excited you are about it I know. like don't don't advertise anyway, something to the world advice. of like I'm so excited for this to happen because it's there's been so many times where I've just been like, oh, everybody get excited for this. And then it falls through pen from somebody else's out, fault. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, great. Well, oops, fuck. You know? Yeah, it's a bad feeling. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Just keep the secret until you know it's like official. Mm. Oh, oh, fuck. Ooh. It's like that podcast. I hate that podcast. Yeah. That segues into it. our next question, though. What is your least favorite podcast? Oh, shit. Why oh, my God. <laughs> Let's. How do I? How do I categorize th- that by least favorite? You know, people ask for a list of my uh, least favorite movies in the year, but I never do that because I'm not actively looking for the <laughs> the worst movies every year. Um, yeah. Shit. I don't know. Uh, do you even do you even know many podcasts? There, there are I, a lot. Well, yeah, but I, I I guess I don't have I don't have them in my uh, immediate memory. Like I know. Baited was entertaining at one point, and that, now it's not. Um, mm-hmm. That's I true. Yeah. <laughs> I really tried. I'm sorry, exist. everybody. Um, I said, didn't we take them down? Is that what happened? No, it's just some, some stupid. Sh- we told a story on here, and then drama happened. Oh uh, yeah. Um, that was yeah, our first I, uh, episode, wasn't it? <laughs> that was like our second or third. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Pretty I great. can't really think of uh, any other podcasts that are, you know, kind of a boring mess disaster i i don't i don't really consume too many podcasts Mm -hmm. all that often anyway but i kind of like skip through them and i'm like oh this is you know kind of interesting depending on what they're talking about and depending on how much i want to hear someone's opinion on on something but you won't hear any really opinions on this yeah i was about to say you'll hear no opinions on this one in my opinion that Uh, is pretty awful oh i agree (laughs) andrew should tell you his opinions on self-satisfaction with thine own mouth andrew uh, I mean, it it's more like sucking a dick than getting your dick sucked. How do Which you know is, that, though? What? 
Just, How do you know well, that? Because that are, like, you, are you just going to bring this up to every guest? Is this like the challenge? Uh, this one, yes. Hang on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so no, because here's the thing: if you suck your own dick, it, it's equally both. How is how what is he's it more trying sucking, to say? Wait, no, Adam, have you ever then, sucked your own dick? Um, there was a point in my life where I stretched every single day because I really wanted to. Oh my god! And I got to the point See? where I could touch it with my tongue, and then I kind of hurt right, my back, well, and I was like, "We oh have something god. in common, then." Oh, <laughs> uh, eat <laughs> my <laughs> shit, Andrew. Eat it. Eat my. How cock. did you know, like telepathically, that I he had this it. information? I felt. It. I've Andrew, said. Well, okay, I mean, Andrew pretenses that every guy has tried it. Can we wow. just get that out of the I, way? I, I've okay. already told this story on my Twitch stream. Oh, so. Jackson, just oh, stop uh, with the lies. There, there oh, so are very Kaya, few things about my guy. life that aren't public. So Kaya, anyway, rabbit Andrew, fanboy the of thing. your movie sucks, heard it on the Twitch stream and tried to sneak Perhaps. a jab at me. I see how it is. <laughs> Andrew, like, if you suck your own dick, it's 50% sucking someone else's dick and then Well, having it's not someone suck. else's dick, how, how it's sucking your dick. Well, yes, but you say like. Hold on. So how is it like 51%? Yeah, shut up, guys. He also has experience here. Well, no, okay, it's, yeah, it, uh, tell I mean, us about I, your experience. Okay. It's well, I mean, my, my experience is limited to just like touching it with my tongue and whatever, like mm -hmm. it didn't work out, but, um, <laughs> from <laughs> what I can gather, uh, logistically, the reason why people would say it's more like, um, sucking a dick than getting your dick sucked is because, you know, part of the, part of the reason, uh, why sexual stimulation works is kind of in the same way that, uh, tickling does in the sense that. You know, you can get tickled by someone else, but it's very difficult to actually legitimately be able to tickle yourself. And so in that same sense. Yeah, that's why uh, whenever that's why whenever I masturbate, I have to have someone else do it. It yeah, feels this better. Is, this is like if I it said feels better oh, when someone jacking else does off it. feels like giving someone else a hand job than receiving one. Well, yeah, yeah, I mean, like there's elements of both in there, you know, because you you experience part of it, but you wouldn't get like the full experience. There's no dude that would like be able to suck his own dick. And then be like, well, I don't need someone else to do this anymore. Like, there's still, it's it's still better with somebody else, is my impression. So <laughs> my I can impression. see I can see why there's a, a debate. <laughs> Have you ever been with another person? When was your last attempt? My last attempt at sucking my own dick. Yes, like years ago. <laughs> no, he sounds so offended. I, so like last week. No, I was just clarifying. I'm not offended at all. <laughs> gotcha. That's amazing, though. Running into another one. So cool. Okay, so Adam, let's 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 ask a relevant guest question. Well, sure. So you shit on movies and give honest reviews to movies. What would you say, in your opinion, is a perfect movie? Not not like conceptually, like it needs this or it needs this. Or like name a movie or two that you think are just flawless. Besides just, the Amazing Spider-Man, why too. is it um, Mad Max? Yeah, and why is well, it? Well, see, there's chances are. If you make a film, there's going to be some sort of there's there's going to be something within it that you didn't intend uh, to be in there. <clears throat> but um, you know, every once in a while, there's a uh, director that I'm I'm just going to search up one of his movies right now. Actually, uh, my favorite director, uh, Michael Haneke, he's uh, Austrian. He directed. Uh, the White Ribbon and Amour, which both won, uh, I think they both won Best Foreign Language, uh, and those are his two most recent films. They also both won the Palme d'Or, so he's one of few people that won it twice, uh, and twice in a row even. Um, and his his films are done on, the reason why he's my favorite director is his films are are uh, crafted in such a, a an obsessively meticulous manner that he, he he's basically a master of being able to control what's in the screen and what isn't. Um, and so if you look at, if you look at like the goofs section for any of his films, uh, most of them still have goofs for sure, but there's like one or two compared to, you know, uh, other films that there might be hundreds of <coughs> or thousands of people working on and there's more room for error. You know, there's too many, too many, uh, cooks in the, the kitchen or whatever. Um, <laughs> But yeah, looking on uh, the IMDb page for The White Ribbon right now, there's zero goose listed, so that's technically a perfect movie. But I want to I want to clarify because some people um, hear me talking about this and what I consider to be you know a film without flaws, and they think that all of my favorite movies are populated with 
with based on the number of goofs on IMDb, and that's just not the case. Um, so you could you could you could make a film about uh, a camera being pointed at, at at the wall and say it's an art house film, and it's three hours long, and literally all you have to do is cam- point the camera at a wall. There's no goofs in it. The end. That's not a ten out of ten movie, right? That's a, that's that seems like a piece of shit to me, though technically flawless. Oh, cancel um, that movie, please. So, yes, any art movie is. Uh, so well, we wouldn't go that far. <laughs> well, no, we can. It, so yeah, it's it's uh, when we're talking about you know like my favorite movies ever made. It has it, it's generally a combination of of you know whether or not there are uh, unintentional. Uh, if there's anything that unintentionally shows up in a movie and we're not just talking about like, Ooh, you saw this in the corner of the frame. I'm talking about like plot holes, you know, just things that don't make sense. I'm talking about, yeah, you actually do care about the movies, which I'm learning now that, which is not a comment on anything negative here. Just, I, I, I was not familiar with your work, but this is actually interesting. So who, what do you think about people just, uh, idolizing certain directors, even though their work is just so overrated and, like in my opinion, uh, people who cannot shut up about people like Stanley Kubrick or uh, Quentin Tarantino are just complete idiots. If Stanley um, Kubrick or Quentin is watching this, we're sorry. I I, I think Stanley Kubrick is fantastic. Um, Quentin Tarantino, he's had his he's had his hits and misses for sure. Although I still I still love him, uh, but he's f- far from perfect in my opinion. Um, Quentin T- or sorry, uh, Stanley Kubrick, however. Um, I think part of the reason why people hold him in high regard, not just because of the quality of his films, but because of how far ahead of his, his time he was. You look at something like 2001 A Space Odyssey, which was made in, what, like 63? I'm just going to fact check myself right now. Um, you look at 2001 A Space... Oh, sorry, 68. So still in the 60s. Oh, how fucking and, dare you? And yeah. this this film Jeez. is... Uh, uh, the, the, the effects in this film still hold up today and they look better than many films that that See, are coming out today to in theaters and you're absolutely right about the space odyssey i really like that movie too but then i watched something like the shining and i really just it was so painful How so? to sit through and not turn it off and not kill myself why did you hate the shining Andrew, it was like three hours of just Jack Nicholson making funny hours. faces and just these. <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. If you right, had fact, a B-roll check, movie, I'm fact checking you right now. If okay, you had a, a B-roll hours. fucking movie of Jack Nicholson making funny faces at a, at a camera, you wouldn't consider that a cinematic masterpiece. Uh, Andrew, I, I don't get your point, but my point is that <laughs> this man's, this director's idea of a horror movie or whatever the fuck he was trying to do was basically. Having boring, long ass shots uh, overlaid on top of terrible, loud music. You know what? That lead nowhere. Um, I've I've often loud noises. It was loud music. It was just long, drawn out scenes of old ladies bathing, a kid riding a bicycle through a uh, doorway. Tricycle, just shots Back of check. mazes. It was just so <laughs> incredibly boring. It was so forced. God, well, remembering it makes me feel angry. So I can I can understand and somewhat empathize with um, the idea of disliking a movie just based on its structure because you know some structures work well for some people and some work well for other people. Um, but in terms of that film, I mean, like there's there's qualities to it that you know, regardless of whether or not you dislike the structure and pacing, um, there are qualities to it that are. I would say objectively impressive, like, uh, you know, the performances, Shelley Duvall was fantastic. Jack Nicholson also fantastic. Um, it, it, what he was doing in that film, um, I, I think for a lot of people, but not everybody, um, really brought out a, um, a really disturbing sense of tone. And the film itself is supposed to kind of be like, you know, a, a ghostly dream, of being yeah. unsure what's real and what isn't. Yeah, he named and, that one. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> and and yeah, I mean, it's, it doesn't work for everybody, but I I personally think it's fantastic. The, the problem I have, like I said, is what I would like to get your opinion on is just people. You know, it, some of move some movies are just so beyond criticism only because a certain director made it, right? 
I, um, I do, uh, if you criticize any of Quentin so. Tarantino's movies, people will call you an idiot. Like, oh, it's a Quentin movie. What do you <laughs> oh, yeah, know? I, mean, I like, totally agree with uh, you there. Whenever I say anything, even the slightest bit critical about a Tarantino movie, people freak out. Um, but you also, but, you also, people freak out when you criticize the Hunger Games as well. That's this, just, this is true. I mean, like, there's different, there's different that's degrees true, but of. Nobody cares about the Hunger Games director. That's not really cares know a lot about the Hunger I Games. Am, that's a great. You man. mean Stanley Kubrick? Yes, he directed the Hunger Games. <laughs> Yeah, Stanley Kubrick's The Hunger <laughs> Games. That, I would actually want to watch that movie. Yeah, it's just that people that do cool. not judge movies independently. It's always they tie to whoever made it and then judge um, it by that, which is just the halo effect and uh, idolizing people I'm, for no uh, reason. I'm going to disagree with you a little bit here um, because <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, wholeheartedly, up, I wholeheartedly agree that... Um, there are people that are really fanboys of directors and you know there's some directors out there where it doesn't even matter what movie they make as long as their names on it it'll it's a guaranteed sale and those people get the most um artistic leverage uh from studio fundings people like you know christopher nolan uh quentin tarantino is one of them the list goes on um but for the average film goer like we're not talking about people that we have conversations with on the internet we're not talking about like redditors or or you know people people on like movie forums or anything the average film goer has no fucking clue who directed the movie they're watching. They go they to the theater and they go like, hmm, directed it. I wonder, like, they go to the movie before they even know what's playing, then look at the posters and go, ooh, I like Hugh Jackman, and see the movie, you know? And that's why, that's why, <laughs> uh, if this wasn't the case, then this sort of uh, huge face on the poster advertising without, you know, showing anything about the film, that wouldn't work. You know, you look at the marketing for Passengers, it's literally just Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence's face, and that was enough to sell the movie. That's it. They know what they're doing. Um, Is that so I, I wouldn't... Oh, it's been out for a bit, and uh, kind of bad r- reviews on it. I didn't actually watch it, but I I know it was, you know, it, it it's yeah. not something I felt like I needed to watch in theaters, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I wouldn't say that most people uh, watch films based on who directed it. I, I would say that oh, that is not, not the average film goer. Thank God. Yeah. Charlie, but, you've been quiet. <laughs> well, I mean, I was just about to say, it segues really nicely in the next topic I wanted to talk about. What's probably the Sports. weirdest thing you've done when you've masturbated? Or a weird place, really? Oh, God. You don't even know who you're asking, bud. Oh, that's the yes. That's, yes. Just, yes. that's just Finally. the answer. I'm yes. Oh, my God. You don't even know whose podcast you're on. Yeah, yeah. Really. You <laughs> okay, could fill so the rest many, of this is that, fucking is that hour. Like a, and it'd has be this fine. been asked to, like, every guest or what? Literally, Literally every yeah. single yeah. guest, yes. Oh, Jesus. Adam, okay. one of our Patreon tiers is a $50,000 poster I bukkake. <laughs> Oh God! Um, so this is no seriously. You could fill the rest of this podcast, and it would be completely fine if it was just all that. Oh my God! I don't know. <laughs> so what's the what's the weirdest now. thing that I've done masturbating? I'm touching or myself anything. right now. It, Are you currently oh masturbating? Yes or no? That's an easy one. Not not technically. Oh, would you like to be <laughs> spiritually? Maybe we can help. Um, <laughs> yeah, I like, it. I like the, this. You know what? I don't I don't think there's been a single time that I've masturbated that wasn't, you know, objectively uh strange by society. Fuck yes. No, fill oh, us in. Um, yes. details. Adam. So, uh there <sighs> Oh, don't get you know, shy I never now. Intend, I never intend to reveal this information. Reveal this information because some people think that I that I that I nope. say it all the fucking time, but it, this is let it be known that this is a relevant question. Um uh <laughs> So I uh, you just bust this out at family dinners. <laughs> you well, I mean, so I'm too. pretty open about this on um, my Twitch and my gaming channel and my my uh, vlog channel, but I don't really talk about it so much on my uh, film review channel because it's not really relevant. Um, <laughs> although I do yeah. make hints yeah. here and there. I can um, scarcely think of a movie where your masturbation tales would be relevant to the review. The Amazing Spider-Man Two reminds me of when I masturbated <laughs> on the airplanes. That's, that's why everyone um, hated these Hunger Games reviews. <laughs> Every single review anyway, for the last year has uh, just been masturbation stories. So, Let like, get to it, damn it. So, so I, I I can't really call this common knowledge, but anyway, I'm a I'm a I'm not joking. I'm a gigantic fur fag. I I uh, go to the conventions. So is uh, I masturbate to brothers. furry, furry uh, <laughs> pornography or whatever. Okay. And so just just the fact that really? I can't even get a boner without thinking of uh, half animal, half human cartoon. 
that's pretty fucking weird on its own. So I mean, <laughs> is, is this a joke? Or are you? It's not a joke. Like, I know. I know that uh, huh. my sarcastic voice sounds exactly like my serious voice. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's the information. You know, I've I've actually talked about this before on another podcast, but. Um, yeah, well, fuck uh, them. Adam, it's, it's I not need something to, that I hide, but it's not something that I like. I need try to ask to you two in very faces. quick questions on this subject. Sure. The first is, how old are you? Uh, I'm turning 26 on okay. April 14th. The follow up question is, Lola Bunny from Space Jam or something else? I'm when I say I'm a fur fag, I, I'm not even. I'm not even just referencing the uh the the joke of what people call furries i mean like i'm super fucking gay too oh and i know my voice then <laughs> yeah well i don't even know what spot cats was oh please um, leave. uh yeah <laughs> nick wilde then right uh nah, maybe <laughs> All right, I, yeah. I, I, I don't know why i think zootopia is an amazing movie so the fact you brought that up is funny that's kind it's of funny. A good movie. Zootopia's really good. I've watched it three times. It is a good I movie. really liked it. It is. I've never Adam, seen would it. you say that Zootopia sucks or something? Uh, no, I uh, I gave was it a it six out you? of ten. I enjoyed it, although it had some flaws. Oh, okay. It was a good movie, and I could watch it a second time. Okay, that's acceptable. Yeah. But that's interesting. So, do you actually do the conventions and go around? Do you yeah, have a first or any of that? I was or, literally, sorry, I was literally at a uh, furry convention in my city uh, last weekend. Do you have the uh, suit a local and everything? Like, how far do you go? I do not yeah. have a suit, and that's a very small minority of, of the fandom. Oh, that is um, so brave of you, actually. Like, you, I, you really have to be the minority there, then. Is it, do, well, don't no, you, like, I, I do not have a suit. I do not, I don't, I Has don't anyone have a recognized suit. you at these conventions? Yes, and uh, some people take huh. pictures with me, and I retweet them. Oh, it's sweet. Like, yeah, it's not... It's not, it's not uh, private information, but there are a yeah. shit ton of people that are surprised every time it's mentioned, and you know, somewhere. I mean, I was, I was going to say, if you want to change the, the subject, I don't want to like rail you into this you, conversation. You know yeah, that's like, the surprising I, part, though. No one is surprised that just the surprising part is that anyone out there is actually openly a furry. Like, you know, you know because what? the only contact the rest of us have with that uh, niche community is usually on, you know, funny internet cringe niche forums on the posts, intertubes. You know, yeah, there's there's definitely. Um, there's definitely uh, not that many of us out there, especially. Uh, That's not true. Ones Isn't that are, it a huge? Uh, well, subculture? I mean, so let's. Um, so, like the biggest conventions get somewhere like they get they get like thousands of attendees, and then I guess there has to be more that just don't go to the conventions or whatever. Um, so, I mean, like it's not. It is a very niche thing, um, but I can't think of you know somebody else in the media in any way that's that's uh, a furry but also isn't one that's a part of the whole online persona sort of thing you know like i'm not i'm not like i'm I'm not gonna have every single video where it's i'm like in a fucking fursuit going like oh i'm the horse that reviews movies <laughs> you're missing or an untapped market you know? man yeah that could have been you could have cornered that shit <laughs> you could have fucking made yeah break. no it kind of it kind of limits uh your demographic it really does there's a lot of uh <laughs> People in the fandom that uh, kind of go for the 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 easy route, and they um, they exclusively make content that is so furry related that every furry will just like, you know, it's it's basically. Oh, we bait. had a lot of those uh, fans who I, I, sometimes I check the channels of our fans if they have more than like hundred followers just to see what they do. And Charlie, you and I, when we were doing the Donkey Ollie videos, we had for some reason an influx of furry fans. There are furries. Well, thank you to and all. There was a channel yeah, that had you. maybe five hundred subscribers, and you guys but over like five thousand. Thank 000. their subscriptions and appreciate them, right? Well, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah Fucking all I'm scum. Is like, this, this Get away from my guy. channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not allowed. Get out of here. Fucking piece. please subscribe to well, Adam I for mean, more the, furry the news. The furry put her down. thing <laughs> was kind of like a hot fire in the early two thousands, mid two thousands. Yeah. But you don't really see it as much anymore. Nearly well, as much. Hating you know on furries it's, just to hate on it. The oh, whole, yeah. It's, the it's hate just group hating on, it. on it furries. It's just like a little bit hating on Justin Bieber. It's just the you know. It was the thing back in the like two thousands, but now it's just kind of like it doesn't really happen nearly as well, much it's a passing it's, joke because anytime you see someone 
who is making fun of them, they're usually making fun of the extreme cases, right? It's, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Really that's the only shit that of, anyone will ever yeah. see, right? It's yeah, like nobody, different, nobody's different sharing furries. a furry image like, oh, oh, look at this normal, not offensive in any way, or like <laughs> that's what middle I got of the road, casual look furry at my thing, normal, you know? Not offensive photos, you know? everyone. Like that just that doesn't go on cringe chan, so nobody's gonna see it because people who aren't furries don't s- seek it out, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I mean, I, I think but, a couple things happen between. Uh, the early 2000s and now um can, can you know, i like there's... elaborate on this and like ask you stuff you can i I'm comfortable I, with that because I, I absolutely love subcultures like that i i i'm perfectly okay with that because i i know that there's a lot of people out there that uh Stigma. you know if, if somebody asks a genuine question about like any kind of minority group or fandom or subculture or whatever there's a lot of people that are just like oh you had to ask like i'm so offended i don't i don't want to be one of those people because i know that oh, not like, just I, that. I understand I, there's genuine curiosity and like it, yeah I mean, and simply it being so f- uh, w- difficult to access to find anyone who is into s- something like this but is not a you know no offense a weeb like a yeah. terrible human being you would see on the cringe forums yeah. Like, uh, um, how many ladies are there in the subculture? Like, what percentage many, would you say is male and female? Yeah. Well, um, like almost every single other uh, subculture that exists primarily on the internet, it is overwhelmingly male. Um, but I, I would, you know, just based on, I've never, I've never actually tried to count, but I would say, you know, that there, <laughs> I, I've seen more uh, girls at furry conventions by far than at any kind of like gaming convention or any kind of you know other other like internet Charlie, based convention because um a lot that. of a lot of people that are furries like like i i'm i'm speaking from someone who uh is you know it's 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 definitely a part of my sexuality and i can't change it um but there's plenty of fucking people uh that are really just into it because of they like cosplaying and they really like you know, expressing mm-hmm. themselves as like an animal character. Yeah. I, mean, like, I know, a I know a girl of... that has like seven different suits just because she's she's really loves Jeez. you know expressing herself in that way. I mean, a good um, point yeah, of this thing, you good... got the like con hoppers who just they go to any convention in any fandom and they'll have some costume for it and just jump into that bandwagon yeah. from that. And I know yeah. with furries, and that's how... a big part of it because there's a lot of. I mean, if you're doing furries, there's a shitload of room for like potential costumes and shit to try. You know? Oh yeah, there's no oh, yeah. limitations. It's, everything it's can all... be a sparkle dog or any color or any whatever you want. Yeah, it's a really uh, anything goes kind of community uh, for wait the most the part. Space Jam sequel comes out. Oh, dude, I want to see that in theaters <laughs> opening day. You know, I understand. So I understand how much nostalgia plays on people's emotions, but I I have my doubts that it'll be good at all i oh, love no, the first space oh, jam yeah, no, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be awful it's gonna be it's fucking gonna be so horrendous bad. and i'm gonna be there front so adam, line center opening day adam what's what up? i do know from my limited knowledge of the subculture is that you know generally furries don't like to be sexualized should i say you know they um, don't like to be thought of as just these deviant fetishists who well, just want to fuck animals well of course so how big of a part is the uh, like the sexual aspect of it depends it, on who you rather, hang out how with. much is it not because yeah. you know it's such a it is it really is such a subculture that like I thought I knew every furry in my city but I don't at all it's not even close like every every once in a while I'll, I'll you know get introduced to someone's friend or blah 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 and they'll realize that you know this whole party has uh, people that I have no idea who the fuck they are and they're all furries and it's like wow it's so weird but there's different there's can, different kind of um, uh, groups within groups the the group if that makes any sense so like um uh yeah, like it's there's, uh, different percentages well, yeah, there's, of there's, you then there's who, tons you know, of people that are in who... it for completely different reasons and so if yeah. you try to as soon as you say that furry is a fetish you're lying because to some people it is you know to a decent amount mm-hmm. i would say it is but you're you're completely miscategorizing those who it you know the, the entire, sex the thing has nothing to do with it and when i say yeah. mm-hmm. when i say it's part of my sexuality like i'm not a I, like I'm not attracted to dudes dressed up as animals or anything. Um, I'm attracted to like the the uh, non-existent uh, half human, half animal creatures that are just portrayed in media. So like, you know, it doesn't have to be a cartoon, but these creatures that like so literally it, don't exist. Um, would you say it's a minority then? 
the ones uh, who are more interested the in the sexual aspect. Who knows at this point, really? Because you can't. Whenever there's a <laughs> whenever there's data. a poll done on furries and it's posted online, it's all I'm thinking is like, I don't know anybody who took part in that poll. You know, um, I think you know what. So there's there's definitely a lot of a lot of people in the fandom where you know it, it there's nothing sexual about it whatsoever. Um, and I, I think that what's kind of important to understand about it is that, um, at least from my experience and the experience of a lot of other people that I know, uh, a lot of my friends, um, that it's, it, it, it mostly derives from kind of, uh, an identity, uh, issue, if you want to call it that. Um, so in the same way that, you know, like I don't, I don't believe I'm, I'm a horse. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh, my, my spirit is a, a horse or whatever. Like I just, like I Charlie. understand that there's part of my brain that I can't change that would prefer to view myself as this non-existent creature, yeah, and I'm self-aware like about it. You know, like I know that this is a thing, but I can't. You can't control what you desire, and so mm -hmm. um, I, I think that in the same way that um, your, your, your self-identity. Uh, controls your sexuality in a way because you know there's there's a significant amount of uh, transgender people you know if it's um, a male to female and they're attracted to males when it's like okay so even though it's not necessarily uh, your identity uh, dictating what you're attracted <coughs> to there is some correlation there and in that same sense I feel like a lot of uh, furries that do have this preference for whatever reason to identify themselves or just pretend that <laughs> they're uh you know half animal uh half human things i feel like mm -hmm. it does affect people's sexuality in the same way where you know that's that's just how our brains yeah, are wired you know you carry I, over i mean if if you're yeah. that much invested in something of course it will yeah, also exactly. affect your character and then like there's always to exceptions degree. to the rule just like I was saying about transgender people, there's always exceptions to that. So of course there's there's furries that where it's nothing nothing sexual about it at all. I've been I've been uh, really mm -hmm. hogging the uh, <laughs> the podcast. No, okay. with my I own just shut up for a minute. Hang minds. on, hang on, um, Charlie. No, on. <laughs> this is important. God, a lot of opinions. Charlie. Adam, Adam. Yes. What do you think of my profile picture? Um, <laughs> seeing as it, you're, you it's know, kind a little, of it's uh, kind of furry. Into boys it and animals. It doesn't, Why don't you drop uh, the subtlety, Adam? Would you fuck Kaya? Yes or no? No explanations. Yeah, yes or no. Uh, that's a complicated question, but they, I don't think, no I don't think I'd, I'd f fuck anybody just based on a voice and a profile picture. So, oh, that's uh, well, uh, you'd have to buy me a okay. drink first. All right, I have a more important, important question then. I can do that. Well, I have a I have a more important question <laughs> then, Adam. Have you heard Charlie's joke? Oh Christ. <laughs> um, maybe I have, but I don't. I'm Charlie not just sure. Had to wake up from his fucking slumber. Yeah, really, Charlie out of his coma. That's not we, true. We, I was just listening. We, we unfreeze him cryogenically whenever he has to tell this joke. This, uh, it's. I'm like the demolition man of comedy here. Like I'm, I'm, oh, a, yeah. I'm a man of one joke that just they froze me, and I need to come back in the future to tell the joke, and they put <clears> me back <throat> under. It's. You're gonna really need to prepare yourself for this one, Adam. It's uh it's a doozy to say the least. It's a oh, I'm I'm prepared. All right, well, I'm prepping myself right now. It, I know you can't see. There's no it's video, a, but I'm I'm literally prepping myself. That's good. That's good to hear. It's a thinking man's joke, so you gotta you gotta really be thinking here. All right, I'll I'll go ahead and start. Enough. Okay, stop doing an Andrew and get to enough, the point. Enough hyping it up. I'm just proud of this joke, Kai. All right, just let me have this. Okay. So this happened uh, not too long ago. I was driving on I four. I don't know if you're familiar with Florida terrain, but I four is an interstate out here. And I was driving with my girlfriend, and I saw an, uh, a fucking sign for a restaurant. It's called Boardwalk Burgers. Just your standard burger joint, you know, homeless people throw some patties on the foreman's. Just a good old time. And I was driving by this, and with my quick wit, just a real sharp zinger, I said, Boardwalk Burgers, more like board burgers, because the burgers aren't having any fun. You know, um... This is this is no different than living with uh, Mark English, who edits the videos for my gaming channel. If anybody's familiar with him, he's he's full of shit like that, honestly. So I'm kind of used to it. I'm a little desensitized. Um, but, wow! Uh, just but to make you, you feel it? a Charlie, little better, um, not, oh my uh, God. I will laugh to it. So ha ha ha! There you go. So Charlie, far, you've insulted only... two of the hosts yeah. of this show. You said you wouldn't fuck me. You didn't laugh at Charlie's joke. Do you want to just spit in Jackson and Andrew's face? I can insult really, myself if you want to. Charlie, did he not laugh at your joke? He didn't even like shit on it. He just gave you a critique into why it's 
nothing. And and I, he he actually gave you empathy. He fake. Oh lost. my god, you got the like. Wow, well, I feel I sorry just think for you because nice. he didn't understand yeah. it. Tell it again from the top. Well, I mean, I can explain it. Analyze it. Adam, you Adam would you joke. have liked that joke of Stanley if it, Kubrick? Yeah, if it was a movie, you know, would you watch it? Didn't wait. You said you said you didn't explain it, but didn't you technically explain it at the end when you said it's because they're not having any fun? Well, I mean, I was could, that not an explanation I of could the ex- joke? Wow. I could extrapolate further, though. You see, because please do. You, I'm well, I'm I'm very uh, interested in the intricacies of this <clears throat> uh, magnificent piece of comedy that you have comedy yeah yeah, yeah. well that's what it is yeah I, I think once i explain it you'll be busting a gut so you know like what, what are what are burgers we you know it's just dead cow and it's on the grill how much fun could it really be having and then there's board you know b-o-a-r-d and then there's board b-o-r-e-d where you're not having any fun it's a play on words yeah. mm. adam is, adam do you like music adam i love you music i make music too. burgers movie if it starred Chris Hemsworth as the boardwalk and Tina Fey as the burgers? Um, if if by that you mean uh, uh, killing Tina Fey and grinding her up into a burger, then yes. What's your problem with <laughs> Tina Fey? By that, besides the fact no, she's just, not it, funny. It would be, uh, I think it would be a very brave uh, filming decision to make. It could be revolutionary. <laughs> who, would know, direct, that, that would be, who would direct that would be the boardwalk burgers right movie? There. Who would you say should direct boardwalk bur- burgers the movie? Uh... I'm looking for a job. Well, are you? I mean, if the question's who the most, who's the most boring director? Jesus. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and also I mean, follow up: Could you give Charlie a cameo in it that would then get cut out? Oh, yeah. um, yes. Well, I, yeah, I think we can move on from yes, this I subject. Could, it's clear that. that the joke went over your head. It's all right. Not everyone gets it. <laughs> uh, no, no, I, I got it. I just uh, I've Ooh. lost the ability to laugh a long time ago. It's a, uh, <laughs> it's a disability. So we'll, I can wheeze a little. We'll chalk this one up to just being too too top shelf on comic. Jackson, edit it. I was laughing internally. There, that keep that in, Jackson, and then edit in some external laughter. Edit in Alex's right. laugh to cover up it. Edit in an entire crowd of laughter. Edit in a brand new episode of the show. <laughs> edit in the entire B movie script in the middle of the podcast no, don't please that's the one yeah. thing it'll we get ask. 10 million views that's the one thing we ask that's it just don't we ask plenty of things that's the whole podcast is us asking jackson things. i'm gonna ask you to shut the fuck up okay back to silence <laughs> that was really easy <laughs> got him <laughs> so adam you l- watch movies what really <laughs> 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 so Jackson, you what? study film every single day, right? <laughs> what? So my follow-up question that relates to you now is me. Adam, what's one of your weirdest childhood stories? Um oh Jesus, what is one of my weirdest okay. I've never categorized them by that by weird before. Um uh, weird huh. or shocking or funny or just something you did when you were a little, you know, tiny, little tiny man. When I was a little boy. Anything. Oh, man. Come on. There's got to be on, something. When I'm on like my Twitch stream, these things come out so easily because Do you it'll need always to get be, drunk? you know, really I'll I'll have another sip of my beer right now. Yeah, man. There it is. Well, this man's a step ahead. Right. That was the one sip that got yeah, me trash. Okay. Adam's been fucking slogging all through this thing. <laughs> it's yeah. the only way he can make it through. My, He's one shot away from slamming his head on his desk. It's my raging alcoholism. Yeah. Um Weirdest thing that ever Weird uh, happened or to funny me as a kid. or stupid or just uh, something from your childhood. Anything. Uh, Unrepress those memories. Traumatic. Oh, Jesus. Um, Scary. Scary. Um, Horrifying. I, uh, I Come on. hurt myself Come on. a bunch. I slipped on the ice and cracked my head open. I'm just like, these are the first things that come to mind when I think about my childhood. No, that's a, like that's every, a fun every one. negative experience. That, oh, Jesus. Um, fuck, what else did I do? I don't know. It's uh, your childhood. Uh, did you even have a childhood? Yeah, really? I had, yeah. Or you an alien? I had one somewhere. I, I don't know. It's, uh, fuck. <laughs> Damn it. How can I not remember shit? I know that there's things in there. Um, do, you, do you want just, Charlie to answer for you? Oh, yes. That's... Yeah. What was the weirdest moment in my childhood? Well, I remember one time a- Adam and I were, we were just, you know, you know, we were doing stuff together and he just did something so weird. I couldn't believe it. What did you do though, Adam? I can't really remember. Yeah, we were all there, but we don't remember. Um, were you 
What was it? Second time you said about... when Charlie was eating his earwax. <laughs> there and was one like, time yeah, smelling his zinger. butt. I I grew up in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and it's way too cold there. And one time, uh, I was I was walking to school in like the, the deathly freezing weather, and then I saw through the ice in the ground, through like six inches of ice. There was a shit ton of loonies and toonies, so like one and two dollar coins. And I decided, fuck it. I'm going to dig this out because money is more important than <coughs> learning. And uh, <laughs> I, I stomped on it with my boots and, st- and w- w- was incredibly late to my, uh, to my class. And, uh, but I, I was like but $20 you richer. You know, it was a re- you know I, I'm, I, I've come up with something in my head right now. Um, hey, there was one there time. Uh, yeah, I just needed to think about. I just needed to put myself in the environment for a second. Um, there was one time, uh, where, you know, does everybody remember, uh, Beyblades? Of course. Let still, real shit, yes. yeah. still play with them. Charlie's um, actually one of the reigning champions. It was like, I, uh, there were certain fads that I really bought into, Pokemon being one of them, and I still love Pokemon. Pokemon's not a fad, um, you fuck. It's a way of yeah. life. Well, no wonder okay. you get hate. Yeah, really. <laughs> uh, I, well, I do still love it. Anyway, um... Uh, Beyblades was something that I never really got into. Like I watched the show sometimes, and it wasn't something yeah. that I was gonna like. Did you let my parents over by sp- spending like fifty dollars for a top or something? I don't remember how much it was, but uh, there were other kids in the in the school, and this was an elementary that had the Beyblades, and they had like the little arena uh, dome thing, the little plastic uh, fifteen dollar arena that you just put on the fucking ground, and it was yeah, like a little shaped dome. Yeah. <laughs> I remember and, that. Um, so there were these kids that were like spinning their bla- Beyblades, and they were like, "Let her rip!" I was like, "Ah, oh, fuck! I want to, <laughs> I want to participate in this." And uh, and so yeah, this was right after Halloween, and I still had a fun size Smarties box. So I spent like a good five minutes <laughs> folding it into a top shape, and uh, and making it so that I could compete. And I went up to the kid with the Beyblades. I was like, "I want, I want in." on this and uh, <laughs> I want it and he was like you're gonna lose and I said I don't think so and uh, <laughs> so was this like yeah. last week <laughs> yeah I was I was in elementary school last week unfortunately they kicked me out for being an adult um, but anyway uh, so I, I don't remember how old I was I must have been like between 8 and 10 or something anyway um, so then uh, we I, I basically have my hands around it so I can like spin it using the, the the force of my hands and just kind of like you know quickly move my hands in the other direction and drop it in opposite directions and drop it and uh, he had his like you know zip tie whatever Beyblade string that he uses and we were both like let her rip and I spun it and he spun it <laughs> and his bounced right out of the arena and I won and I felt so happy with myself that I won against a Beyblades with a Smarties box and I never played again and so I am I'm an undefeated champion of Beyblades I have retired you are you, you didn't are, really um, play the Beyblades blades, though you kind of finagled your way in there with some fucking construction <laughs> supplies uh, I was I, I was a strategic little boy I mean, I, I he was. constructed his own Beyblade. Could, that's, well, that's a it's, step it's, up in my It's books. less of constructing a Beyblade. I could do the same thing. I could just go up there, let her rip, and then just drop a brick. It would bounce right off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I was the destroyed. underdog. This was this <laughs> was, was this yeah. was basically so every nineties sports tournament, movie. If you're in a kung fu tournament and you bring a fucking gun, they're like, "Oh, but he's the underdog." No. We didn't expect he'd be here. <laughs> Why is he shooting the audience? If you oh, go to a so kung good. fu tournament and you have no legs, that's the underdog. Oh. If you're missing two legs, then... Oh, no. Are I mean, you, his are... opponent took the bet. It's his fault. That's true. <laughs> yeah. No one cheated. <laughs> he was like, up front about child. it. You, you never said no guns. <laughs> yeah. Guaranteed, there's a million weirder things that happened to me when I was a kid, but that was just the one that jumped out, I guess, so... That's fair. I'll, I'll come back to you. If I, if I think of something weirder, I'll, I'll type it in the comments or something. I actually, I remember the <laughs> stupid story from when I was a kid, and it's fairly short. If it oh, wanted to jog your memory... Beautiful. It's, it's short and are you fairly it'll short? Fill in the next six it, episodes. It, it's I'll keep it simple. So in <laughs> elementary school, in elementary school, I rode my bike with my friends to and from school. Like we'd meet at our <laughs> near our houses. I don't. What were the dental hygiene? I don't understand how setting up why I was riding my bike to school. Is so fucking hilarious. It's just every story starts out the same. Adam, just in case you don't know. Uh, 
that Andrew is sort of the uh, Lord of the Rings version, like the extended version when it comes to telling stories. You know what? I think, I, I don't know. I felt like I took a long time on everything I had to say, but... Oh, trust me, you, you haven't even met the master yet. This is the Beyblade okay. champion here. Okay. <laughs> he's not using Beyblades, though. He constructs his own. He's using time. We were playing chess the whole time. <laughs> Anyway, Andrew, yeah, go on. So yeah, go, I Andrew. rode my bike to school every morning Don't in elementary school. Don't be depressed about it. Don't be depressed about I it. I rode my bike Audi. to school every fucking morning with my friends. And then there was one morning where neither of them can go to school, so I rode by myself. So I got this brilliant idea, and I was like, hey, normally we ride through the park to go to school, but this time I'm going to ride through like the trees near the park and save more time or some shit. And there were gaps in the fence between the park and the school because the park was right across the street from the school. And I was like, I'll just cut through one of those on my bike. And that way, this shortcut will be great. And it won't matter because I did it by myself. So my friends don't have to follow or whatever. So fuck it. So I was barreling down the hill that led to the fence that separated the park and school. And what I didn't know is apparently for some reason during either school hours or not school hours, the park facility people put chain links between the gaps in the fence and i was like riding my bike down a steep hill and it caught the front of my fucking front tire because i oh. didn't stop and i just ate shit and 90 degrees just flipped like face first onto the sidewalk and my bike flew into the fucking street and it was That's so awful. bad that this woman stopped her car in the middle of traffic and ran over to me and was like are you okay <laughs> she was um, like are you okay and I, all i could do is get up and be like i'm fine I'm okay. Like I, I was fine. I was just scraped up, but it, I was fucking felt like an idiot. Was why, she the, why, were your friends not able to go to school? Oh, maybe it's not relevant to the story, Kaya. Who cares? <laughs> it really isn't. Well, why not? Yeah, that's why I'm not answering the question. Good. It's not relevant. Oh, Cut that's, it out that's for time. Joke. How did you get your bike? <laughs> what model? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Some mountain bike. Yeah, that's where the story should have started. Um, Feel, feel free to change the subject if you want, but I thought of one one more uh, young me no, story. No, please, go ahead. Okay. Um, I was in, uh, one time I was in junior high, uh, shocker, um, and uh, I was in <laughs> the eighth week. grade, and um, uh, for whatever reason we had, um, like, kind of a graduation thing at the end of the year. Like, it's, we weren't even leaving the school. It was just like, oh, yeah, you finished the eighth grade, eighth grade, whatever. Like, huh, you're, you've done a great job. <laughs> and um, so each of the, you know, you get your name called out and um, uh, you, yeah. you walk up to the front of the gym class and everybody's sitting on the fucking floor. Go up to the principal, shake his hand, and then walk down the center and sit back down. Simple enough, right? And um, yeah. At at the time, um, you know, there was a there was a very popular Jay Z song called uh, "Dirt Off Your Shoulder," and um, if anybody remembers in the music video, he does a little "Dirt Off the Shoulder" uh, uh, motion. Yeah, you, you know, brush opposite off arm, the shoulder. Just Hence brush the name it off. Of There's the no song. actual dirt on it, but you're making the motion, and it, you know, it was just it, it was a popular song at the time, and. Um, uh, so I went up on stage, uh, shook the principal's hand, and then as I'm walking back down, I was like, you know what? I'm I'm an unfunny little shit. Let me just do that little dance move. And so <laughs> I uh, brushed the dirt off my own shoulder, and then I sat back down and thought nothing of it until the next day uh, when the principal called me into his office and... And immediately, I'm just, he's like, you know what you did? I'm like, what? I didn't do it. What? I don't know what you're talking about. He's like, I know you made fun of me by wiping off your hands after you shook my hand. I'm like, no, it's a, it's a song. You don't understand. He hated what me. What an asshole. He absolutely wow. hated me. Did you brush the I, he dirt had a off his shoulders? against me like the entire time I was at that school. And for whatever reason, you know, Did, that, was that, this that, the start of like a coming of age, like get your groove back comedy where you had to slowly teach him the meaning of dance? Um, I would say it's more like uh, a uh, dramatic thriller would be. Uh, the, well, no, uh, thriller was by Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, okay. Like The Shining. Yes. <laughs> I would say it's more of a, my life is more of a horror story. It's a constant nightmare that I, I like, can never wake up from. I really liked how you begun that story. <laughs> that made me giggle uh, really hard. <laughs> Good. <laughs> yeah. I'm, right. I'm glad. I'm glad to make you giggle, even though your joke failed to get any kind of reaction from me. Oh, well, that's oh wow! That was that fuck. was brutal. I mean, well, wow. Adam's the true comedian. Jesus, well, have you know Sorry. That, that joke kills. All right, that joke is. 
I kill myself too. Oh. You know, I Ouch. Uh, you know, that's not fucking fair. You are a guest on this podcast, and Jackson, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. All right, yeah. I'm going. I yeah, go we found bed. a new host. Uh, has Jackson even Sorry, been here? Yes, Adam, please take my job. You can be the new Australian. You want to move here? Uh, all right. <laughs> Sounds just like it. All right, Jackson, just come back. I can't, I can't do accents for shit. <laughs> you want to move to Turkey? <laughs> sure. To a Turkish accent. Does anyone want to move with Turkish? Ah, it hurts. Turkish accent. <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble. Get there it? We go. Oh, right. It's an animal, too. Yeah. Just a furry thing. Yeah. Hashtag just furry things. Is your persona a turkey, Adam? No. Do, there, how, you know how what? Much I'm money actually, for it I'm, to be. I'm, I'm, very, um, I'm very interested in, in kind of like the psychological aspect to the whole furry thing because i you know it's obviously something beyond my control and i'm very much of course i've mm. i've been critically <laughs> asking myself why this is the case for myself and other yeah. people and i've kind of I've, I've i've kind of been very interested in that there aren't that many um there aren't that many like food animals you know you don't go to a furry convention there's What's like that mean? there's like no cows there's no pigs there's no Wh- chickens you know oh, like very yeah. rarely you know most people, the vast majority of furries are like canines. They're like That's wolves and foxes and dogs. Well, yeah, because if you have like a 200 pound girl, she wants to be a noble Because they say wolf. dogs as companions, don't they? Yeah. I'm, I'm impressed that you knew that. Yeah, I guess you're a few true things furry at heart. On. Yeah. <laughs> how how many yif, yifs um, have you looked at? Have I personally <laughs> inspected animal junk? Is that what you're it asking? It sounds like you have. Uh, actually, yeah, I did at one point. I got bored. I looked up animal yeah. dicks. Well, actually, uh, that ex- who has Haven't we all? I mean, that's still on my yeah. tabs right now. But did you know that Andrew, when he was a kid, like put his asshole on his dog's mouth or something? Did you know that about um, him? No. Is yeah. that, did that actually <laughs> happen? That's, yeah. Tell him. That's Why would cool. I retell a story we already had on the podcast? Did we well, have this on the podcast? I don't remember yeah, the story. Yeah, we had the story. Yes, it was podcast. true. It doesn't really, you don't need to. Oh, I, didn't know. You don't I need wasn't to. trying to fuck my dog, if that's what you were wondering. I did that later. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Go watch episode nine, Adam. Go you fuck my up. dog, Adam. <laughs> no, thank you. No, I know. That was an in the moment <laughs> joke. You don't no, actually that's, fuck that's dogs. Like You're nice. There's a lot of people Stop. that believe that I do actually fuck dogs, no, despite Adam, not even owning a dog. People in the comments, Adam doesn't actually fuck dogs. He likes felines more. You I do like felines more, dogs. but I not house cats. <laughs> I, I, mean, like I, think, real I think you can trust by this point. We don't think you fuck animals. I mean, you Good. could and are covering, but we don't think so. So mission accomplished. Yeah, you don't have to defend what is yourself this? Is this about an whether or not you think that I Yeah, wh- why are you interrogating Adam? You're like, <laughs> what is this? You're playing like good cop, bad cop. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but with so, him I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, he's just not talking about the bombs them. are. Adam, what's um, the last <laughs> terrorist act you committed? That's a good one. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, are we ta- can it be like social terrorism? Uh, is, yes. If you have any awkward or cringe like? stories, please share them. Go ahead. Awkward cringe stories. Oh Jesus! I thought um, that's what you meant by social mainly terrorism. With fans, I imagine. <laughs> yeah, uh, with Jackson. Hmm. Mainly with my fans, you, you said. Or anything said? doesn't matter. Well, I, I imagine that would be a good source of it. Surely. Um. You know what? I've um. I've always been the because you know I I've for a long time I've had my own internet idols and everything and i've um communicated with with them to some degree and kind of been really um you know reserved or like constantly apologizing and like super concerned about you know whether or not i did something that might have made them upset or something and i it's so weird now being on the other end of it because like i've grown up a, a lot and uh now they're this the same thing's happening to me uh, where a lot of my fans are like super, um, you know, scared of what they reaching out to you. Yeah, it, it's 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 this very interesting uh, phenomenon uh, that happens, I guess, just socially, where um, people perceive a sense of social status and put that person on a pedestal, um, and then yep. you know, like it it completely changes the dynamic <laughs> of a conversation, even if I'm not doing anything to necessarily warrant that um and so i've always been you know very understanding if somebody is like embarrassing when they come up to me there's been a few times like there's been actually 
so many fucking times where a fan will notice me in a public washroom. It's so weird. I was, I would rather well, wait until I'm out of the washroom. That that's the only yeah, thing so that's weird. ever right like kind of bothered me. <laughs> like, oh hey, you're that guy. I'm like, uh, yeah. Um, I'd shake your hand right now, but uh, let's. Uh, I'll, I'll wait for you outside if you want to say hi. You know, so, <laughs> run away. Um, <laughs> <laughs> with your dick hanging out, don't even zip. Oh, you can shake <laughs> that gone. too if you want. <laughs> um, you can shake that too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so that's a question. Like, what was I the what was the previous? What was the most recent like? shame potentially shame filled masturbation you've done um we asked I, I will keep i will keep that question in my mind but did uh charlie not want to say something before i kind of oh, interrupted I, I yeah did, charlie i did, did but andrew you know he had a he had a more important one yeah <laughs> yeah you know more like board burgers charlie ask uh, your fucking Bazinga. stupid question it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't a stupid question it was a good that's one. a stupid question it's not even a question charlie i'm not answering you know, i'm not, ask, I'm not asking you know no, Charlie, please Charlie. ask your question. No, Charlie, tell Charlie, me like, please. Come on. Not until, Charlie, don't get huffy again. Not until Adam says last you like my you, joke. You won't get to play with you. Charlie, you won't get last to play time this happened, blades. you locked yourself in the car for forty-five minutes, and we were late in getting McDonald's, and then we missed the movie. You can't do this every fucking week. Adam, just tell him he's tall. Yeah, <laughs> Charlie, I liked your joke. Thank you. Better See? than AIDS. Well, why does everything have to be so backhanded with that joke? Wow. <laughs> I don't get it. Everyone hates it. I love it. Because the punchline on it is backhanded. <sighs> that's, that's Charlie, what's your fucking oh question? Oh topic? Like, Charlie, like, ask the if, question. It's, if it's backhanded, then it isn't a punch, is it? It's a good it's point. More like it's a punishment on. slap. Well, the question yeah. is tennis. Was going to be how many of you have witnessed a car accident today, or is it just me? Today, T- today, or in general? T- today, I haven't left my house today. Oh, you've beaten me on the today no, front. T- Tell, tell, tell you a car accident story, shall I? I watched a car accident happen. Were you in the car? Yeah, what? Well, no, oh, I just watched it. Oh, that would have been it a cool metaphor if you were for part of the accident. But just watching it, that's kind of boring. You can see it on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. Uh, let's move on. What a shit All right. <laughs> story. Um, Charlie, talk about your car accident. More like board cars. Yeah, seriously. Because like... we weren't having any fun. <laughs> Charlie, tell your car accident story. Go. I was driving. Before I turned left, a car hit another car. Did you really not have anything to elaborate on here? Are you just fucking with us? Yeah, that's about the end of it. Where was the car made? It the was plot a... twist is that he was actually watching the trailer for Cars 3. Oh, fuck. I, I would never. <laughs> We're Lightning McQueen's like a heroin addict <laughs> or something. <laughs> this time, oh, it's going to be super serious. This is totally not a kid's movie this time. Mm. That's how they're marketing it. There's Good like a million Pixar. clickbait articles Rated on it. It's R so fucking Pixar. stupid. Yeah, it's not gonna. It's not gonna be like a good movie. It's Cars Three. What the fuck are you smoking? Well, I mean, Cars Two. Is it Cars Two. Cars Two is a Cars cinematic Two already happened, and it was bullshit. Adam, Adam, in a single in a single sentence, Ed, because I know you can't do it. Name one oh. thing, one sentence, one Uh-oh. problem with Cars Two. Go, please. I'm fucking challenging you. You can't do it. See, can't do it. It's well, not no, long I'm enough. thinking, it's not long but enough. I, I didn't want to say that I'm thinking and then have you uh, pretend as though that was the one sentence answer to the question. Well, you uh, just did this, it now. This is an answer. Well, enough. yeah, because I had to defend myself because you had already accepted Bam, uh, failure. You have so. been defeated. That was it. Yeah. So, anyway, um, Charlie, what do you think of Cars 2? I've never seen it. Andrew, your questions are shit. Probably loves it. I didn't ask a question. That was. What? I'm tired I, I told him so, to do something. Let's I didn't do some ask. You were questions, in, gang. In one Jackson. sentence, uh, I would say, "Hey, Charlie. worst cars sequel of all time." All right, that's perfect. That's Jackson, so bring up the weird questions. Ch- what? Uh, you like music? I like music. <laughs> J- Jackson, give us the viewer questions. Come on. Yeah, bring in some viewer questions. Uh, what? A fucking hell, Kaya. Go to sleep already. It's way past <laughs> no. your bedtime. Yeah, Kaya, isn't it like know. six a.m.? Right. Yes. <laughs> um, your question, right, Jackson. So we're, we're going to do viewer questions. We all have to answer in one sentence. So that's Uh-oh. let's keep Is that it short. the rule that it has been on every podcast ever? Or are you just inventing that rule right now? He's just kidding. No, it's okay. how it's always been. He invented it now, so Charlie has to talk. These, <laughs> these aren't usually uh, these aren't like brain crunching, super duper yeah, philosophical questions. We can like make, it's usually, we can make would them you that. rather fuck your butt or get it, fucked in that, the butt? Uh, please do not j- fucking bastardize my question like that. It's not would you Whatever. fuck your butt or get fucked in the butt. It's would you rather fuck a butt or get fucked in the butt? Well, I've, you would apparently rather butt. fuck your butt. <laughs> 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 
Jesus. Jesus Christ, <laughs> what was that? What the fuck? Did <laughs> the gas exhale from his balloon or something? Andrew just deflated. I, did, I was a helium balloon. I finally had my time. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what the that fuck the that was. Laugh I've ever I think the exorcism happening next door finally kicked in. <laughs> uh, no, it's just we we just try to answer a good amount of questions. We don't like to dwell on anyone too long. Sure, Jackson, answer ask the fucking question. Uh, um, that one goth chick asked, what, "What is your Sorry, favorite go, go art ahead. style? What is your favorite art style used in None. fan art so far? I really oh. like the Microsoft oh. Paint ones." <laughs> Yeah, those are pretty fab, I would say. You know, like Sonic fan art, that's among the best fan art from any fandom of all time. I don't I like that right, question, because that kind of specifies, like, particular artists, and I think all the fan art is great. Well, yeah, I mean, I like it's a fan. type of, but not necessarily artists. You could say, like... Oh, I like exaggerated know. and cartoony styles, usually. Yeah. Adam, which one, of, which one of our fan art is your favorite? Of your... What? Well, so, like, fan art of any... Any oh, the official uh, podcast. Oh, Don't well, I'm not sure if shit. I've actually seen fan art of your podcast. Oh, I'll, I'll put it all in the so, oh, Maybe cool. you should have briefed me before asking this question. No, nah, man. You got to go in raw. Um, my favorite is the one that got sent to you on December 8th. That's so sweet. That was a good one. All right, Nuke asks, what's the best Pokemon and why? Also, No, I'm not Ooh, asking yeah, the bonus. Don't ask that what's question. What's the best Pokemon? Oh. There's um, no best; it's favorite. Yeah, what's well, the favorite? What's your, well, Rayquaza is the best, surely. No, you're <sighs> fucking stupid. Holy lord! I'm a big well, fan of Gen one. one. Honestly, I Same. don't know if my favorite Pokemon could ever be something that's not in Gen one. Um, I mean, uh, someone's forgetting that Tyranitar exists in Gen two. Yeah, even though he's not well, my favorite, he's fucking great. What about know. you, Kaya? You've you've always got good uh, Pokemon answers. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to sit this one out. I don't know. My favorite Pokemon is just Mad Max. I think isn't, just my favorite anything. Isn't Pokemon like outlawed in Turkey? I'm serious. I'm com- it better I'm be actually it, asking. It got canceled. Yeah. Yeah, and it's because of like um, evolution because some and kid shit. Try to kill himself. And that too. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a cop out answer that everyone will hate. My favorite Pokemon's Ditto because that's every Pokemon that it ever could be. So you're a pussy. I, w- I would like to wish podcast. for more wishes. Thank you. Keep it short. Next. Wait, Char- Charlie didn't answer. He just said Gen 1. Oh, my favorite Pokemon is Hitmonlee. Mm-hmm. Next. Ooh, Bruce Lee. Why? My favorite is Charizard. Because he was my, my favorite, favorite is... when I was six, and it never changed. My favorite is Charmander. Least fa- Decon CJPO2 asks, least favorite celebrity? I uh, Your movie sucks is really Oof. just... God. But I'm not really a celebrity, am I? Oh, come like on. Don't internet's, be modest. internet's a different scale. Yeah, I haven't, true, I haven't broken into the mainstream like, yet. Some people kind of in some way go, oh yeah, people on the internet are famous. And then you look at LeBron James's Twitter, which has like 34 million followers. And that's just his Twitter. It's not even what he does. It, yeah, he's like famous on the internet and in real life. Yeah, he's more famous yeah, than he's anyone on the internet. He's times more famous than almost every internet celebrity. And he doesn't even do internet based things. Um, so my, my least favorite is LeBron James. <laughs> Because it's fucking Twitter. Uh, I want to get him on. I don't know. Least favorite? That's like, I don't hate people unless they deserve it. Yes. All right, Kaya, who's your least favorite? All of them. All right. Oh, gosh. I hate all of Hollywood. Charlie, you know this. who's I've your least favorite? This and why times. is it the international sensation? Next question. It's Afton Smith. Mm-hmm. If you want me to answer that, honestly, because yeah. she ruined That's Brendan Fraser's answer. life. That's a good answer, actually. Oh, yeah. I, I wouldn't call her a celebrity uh, though. I'd call her like Brendan a fucking Fraser lover. I'd call her a leech. Well, I mean, she was a celebrity before she ma- married Brendan Fraser and ruined him huh. for no reason. Afton, if you're watching this, I don't like you, but you can come on the podcast to defend yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, I I wouldn't mind. For is, she, is she attractive now? <laughs> no, is she still attractive. What do you mean still? She never was. She looked like an old haggard witch. Nuke asks, "What's your biggest?" You fear? already asked one by him. Yes, okay. you did. Also, we had that on like the second episode. Yeah, next question. All right, Nuke I can answer. Asks, who next is your absolute hero? <laughs> fucking person. God damn. We've only got so many fans. We have like six. Da- I'll you ask my dad. Questions for two. I'll ask. Dad. Actually, yeah. Text text your dad a question. I'm serious. No offense to Nuke, but we have like 700 people on the Discord. All offense to Nuke. Is, Go is this fuck person yourself, the only Nuke. one? There's got to be more than just these three people. I'm going on there, Jackson. You're fucking this up. I got this. Uh, Real Real CK asks, will there ever be any live podcast shows? Uh, 
So maybe I would love to. I think Kai would be on board. Jackson's indifferent, but I know Charlie will never. So the, the audio quality would take well. a big hit, wouldn't it? Charlie, you would never do I that, would you? Yes. I'd do just about everything as long as Adam's there with me, and I'll tell him my joke every day until he laughs at it. <laughs> as long as that Adam... sounds like a promising marriage. Oh, so I do. Sweet. Oh, 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 that was cute. Oh, I'm so happy. Good question. Uh, okay. Professor Zoom asks. Professor Zoom asks the final question: When was the angriest you have ever been, and why? When I was a little younger, we had a upstairs neighbor who just drove me mad to the point that I was actually uh, conceiving plots to kill them. Like huh. actual, I would doubt, like pour gasoline under their door and then set their house on fire kind of shit. I was actually thinking about killing them. That's kind of fucked up, Kai. Well, what did you... No, I hated them with every fiber. I still <coughs> well, hope they die a horrible death. That's really not a good thing what to say about do? your mother. Can you hear if I nod my head? The angry you've been. I've been trying to think. Uh, uh, go to, well, you think of that. Go to Andrew okay. first, yeah. and then, I'll, and then Jackson. What? What's the question? Angriest you've ever been. Um. Uh, I the problem was that like the only time I can think of it wasn't a specific thing. It was a build up a lot of stuff, and I'm not gonna get into it. Oh fuck! It's, I, not, it, I it's remember not entertaining. Mine. Is it? Is it the tent? No, you're pretty angry then. I wasn't angry. I was drunk. Well, I have an answer now. It, since all, it all seems the same to me. <laughs> I'm since always drunk. Andrew dropped the ball. Dropped the floor. Yeah, Andrew yeah, dropped the ball. That's my secret, so, Captain. I did. Well, okay. So I don't remember how old I was, but uh, actually, it was probably only a couple weeks ago. But I was masturbating, and I came before I wanted to. This is back when my OCD was just oh, in yeah. full swing, and I came before like my scheduled coming was <laughs> during the video. And I flipped shit, <laughs> like with with still dick in my hand and cum in my trousers. I was just throwing a fucking tantrum at like two a.m. and my parents stormed in, and it was oh. such a debacle. <laughs> and Jesus I was just had to hold you down as you're fleeing cum across the walls. <laughs> this is a good shit. story. <laughs> it's okay, Charlie. <laughs> like they they obviously knew about like how bad my OCD was, but this was just on a whole nother level. Like I was punching That's things, so funny. And, and I was like throwing my pillows around with still just like cum filled trousers. And did oh. you ask them permission <laughs> first? Well, no, it was late at night. This was one of my more dubious masturbations during that period. Oh, look at you! Ooh. More daring. Mm -hmm. No permissions. A real kinky. They didn't even know I was doing it until I was flipping shit. <sighs> So how did they calm you down? Did your dad like promise you a hand job? What happened? No, they just assured me it's okay. It's you don't always have to come at like a designated time. Wait, did he actually? Did you actually tell them why you were furious? Well, I mean, I I didn't do a good job of explaining it. In a nutshell, just kind of like I came and I didn't want to yet. Yeah, that would be a that would be a difficult visual to just you know take a uh, draw draw conclusions from your son with an probably still erection come gripping just angry. Uh, I didn't want to come yet. <laughs> it's okay, son. Me too. You can't make me. I'm coming too. See, it's okay. See, look, we'll do this Premature together. ejaculation runs in the family. <laughs> It was, it was oh, probably my lowest point. I couldn't even sleep in my bed that night because I was furious, so I got out of sleeping bag. You had to, you had to sleep with mommy and daddy. No, you got out of <laughs> sleeping bag? How does that make you feel better? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> that's such a weird and fucking... That's, that's such a, like, Very aversive way yeah, of dealing with it. That doesn't you know, why never told us this story? Yeah, were you were you masturbating in the bed? No, or no, were no, you no. masturbating at, at well, the computer? Well, masturbating well, in his trousers. Yeah. What would a sleeping bag do? I don't know. It was like, that's what baffles me. Okay, well, do you know how like autistic people usually have an anchor to keep them grounded in reality? <laughs> or or just yeah, a sleeping bag? Well, yeah. my, to keep me grounded from not like flipping shit and just losing my mind due to OCD, I would usually sleep on the floor. And oh. What? That's I, interesting. Okay, well, you, it, doesn't, it may not make sense to you, Kaya, but for, for people like me out there, if anyone else had designated <laughs> come times, you know what I'm talking about. I'm just glad you kept this interesting story from us all the times we've been looking for anything to talk I've about. Never, I'm glad you kept, yeah, I'm I'm glad you kept your parents informed. informed. This is good. I've never this really is more, thought... more fascinating than the furry fandom. <laughs> I've never really like thought about it because I don't usually get that angry. <clears throat> but I did remember like I used to get angry at like during OCD things and it just I remembered this one. It wasn't like a shit. So you had 
It wasn't like a- You had to come at a designated time? Yeah. I've talked about that before. I used to watch the same video and have like, I used to make specific noises at specific times in the video and I'd have a come time. What was the movie? What was the video? It was called- Yeah, I want to say the video. It was called Nice Pair of Lesbians. That just sounds like a fucking documentary. Yeah. Yeah. It was like a 240p now. I mean, it's an old one. Oh, wow. Wow. Classic. (laughs) How long ago did this stop? Like, how long did this- It was a couple weeks ago. Shut up. Do you still like have moments where you're like angry and you have to, like, you know, calm down, mm. recite a mantra, no, like it's n- lie no. down in a sleeping bag? <laughs> no, I mean, I'm pretty much completely over the OCD and everything. But I, back then I did used to get angry if like my OCD things didn't go exactly how they went, which is why I had like that anchor of a sleeping bag where I'd sleep on the floor. Jeez, well, that's... how old were you? In all honesty, it was probably from around age 11 to 17 when it was that bad oh Jeez. my god yeah. Seven. imagine if you had a girlfriend like she just gives you a too good of a blowjob and you just beat her <laughs> i don't think it would have ever done that but i probably would have been very upset you would not put her in a her. sleeping bag <laughs> so breaks up with her so so it. while she's sucking your dick you're just checking your watch like wait 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 not yet hang on it's, it's, it's slow down <laughs> excuse <laughs> me uh, what was so good about this one time line. where you came too early though like wh- what do you mean did you just I, really get in the swing of it yeah it was just i lost track i it? lost track of time i guess i was just i was just feeling myself and <laughs> mm, literally and mentally too good of a pair i i can empathize well, with that video, even though. though i have never experienced that personally <laughs> I, I think i can understand <laughs> thank you what See. coming too early for masturbating or i absolutely the, the, cannot well, being you know just being upset about a missed opportunity having <laughs> different expectations you know is this a good story or it's not a specific story i was well, just saying just a, that i can is there a short blurb that you can just all of us can I, was, I was just saying i can relate bad, bad orgasms yeah, yeah. like well, where it just it, doesn't it, live up when to you the met, hype when you but m- not rage <laughs> It was really bad. <laughs> it, that is a good time to pro- to uh, plug this, though. If you want to see more gay pornography of furries and, uh, I don't know, stuff, go to our Patreon, goddammit, at <laughs> official podcast. Yeah, Patreon.com slash the official podcast. Yeah, uh, Adam, please um, plug your stuff. Adam, please yeah, plug uh, If anybody's you curious want. about the album that I uh, was talking about making, uh, my music band name is called An Unkindness. That's N as in A-N and then Unkindness as in unkind, like you and whatever. And, yeah, um, as in Charlie. Uh, so oh. if you search up the that shit on YouTube, <laughs> there's a lot of old, re- or a few old recordings that I would say don't actually accurately represent what I'm currently capable of making. So if you don't like what's there, then stay tuned for the album and I'll have much better shit. But uh, crazy fucking thing that's happening, May 5th, uh, Blondie, so like Debbie Harry, um, she's actually doing a cover of my song Fragments. What the uh, fuck? And it's the closing... Wow. Jesus, yeah, I'm not that's even kidding. It's legitimately the, it's the big closing, fucking shit. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. Wow. Uh, it's the closing true. track on their new album, and I'm, I've heard that's it. That's amazing. It's, uh, wow. It's fantastic. Everybody else will be able to hear it on May 5th. Goddamn. Um, and uh, so, yeah, my film review channel is probably going to have a link in the description. I would also recommend you check out uh, the gaming channel, uh, which should be easy to find from my film review channel, but if you want to type it in uh, to the YouTube bar, it's uh, Adam Plays, spelled A D U M P L A Z E. Or if you're Canadian, Z E, and I think that's uh, everything that I want to plug. Uh, thank you. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Thank that's you for really, plugging your stuff. That's really fucking cool. No, that honestly, Blondie's you're getting that Blondie. Song. That's fucking it's, solid, it, man. It's. I think that it's. Uh, they definitely uh, made their own interpretation of it. Like, there's parts of it that are a little different in kind of like rhythm and and not necessarily li- lyricism, but like the way it's worded. Um, but I really like what they made and uh dude, can you imagine if it gets big because of them how much macro Falco Fox porn you can buy? Bro. Oh my god. I don't god. even want to know. Dude, they're gonna get so big they'll be fucking galaxies. There's people that have drawn shit like that and I've run into it. It's so weird. It's like, like, like literally like longer. drinking <laughs> off on a fucking planet. My dick the size is the of one your... that will pierce the yeah, heavens. It's so weird. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm one to talk. Calling the pedal call, black kettle black. Anyway, call, you were gonna say calling the pedophile black, weren't you? <laughs> black. No, I oh said. Oh my yeah, god. Well, we've I was, so I was gonna say true pie. colors. Nah. Shit. It's uh, okay. I, this is a. I think. I think this is a good time to end it, guys. Yeah, I had a great time. Thank yeah. you for inviting thank me you. on. That was, yeah, uh, thank you. Thanks for thank coming. You. A lot of insightful have, yeah. and fun stuff. Uh, 
Yeah. You want me to do a wrap up? I guess I don't know. Thank you. Yeah, you do it. Thank you for listening. Bazinga. Oh fuck! Please leave. Thank Go you on. for listening. <laughs> 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 okay. Thank you for listening to this episode of the official podcast. Uh, I want to thank my best friends in the world, Charlie, Kaya, and Adam, and uh, Jackson, I guess. Uh. Uh, thanks again, Adam, for coming on. Please, please check out our Patreon, uh, patreon.com slash the official podcast. Are you talking to Adam? <laughs> no, I'm talking please. to everyone else, you fuck, and also, I would also Adam. You have my endorsement. Check out their hey. Patreon. Hey, look oh, at that. Oh, what, a, yeah. what a nice fellow. Uh, but yeah, we got we got a Discord, we got a Reddit, we got a whole bunch of other shit that'll be in the description. And yeah, thanks for listening. That's about it. Bye bye. Thank you. Ciao. Thank you. Always make bye sure bye. to you. see you bye. on the other side. Come Goodbye. on time. True. We love, bye bye. We love everyone. Diversity is great. Gay furries. <laughs> oh.